Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Hallie Jones. Students with dyslexia or a similar learning disability may find it difficult to learn in the public school system. KRHD reporter Rachel Espayat shows us one college station school is helping to change that while giving students with dyslexia an opportunity to thrive. Jill asked. When Tara Hot, who has dyslexia, started going to Happy Camper School last year, it will be the best if. She was at a first grader reading level. We, but by the end of last year, she went from first grade to uh, a fifth grade reading level, which she is in fifth grade now. The school boosted Tara Hot's reading skills and confidence. Every day whenever I go to public school, I feel very nervous to go because I feel like I'm going to fail a test or something. Mm -hmm. But whenever I go to Happy Camper School, I feel like I'm going to get a hundred. <laughs> she spots Lynn Beth. Now she even finds reading enjoyable. I like that I learn from reading, but I don't notice it. So I'm also having a good time as well. Ross Gunnell saw a similar transformation when his son started working with the founder of the school. When he worked with Kristen um, and he got that confidence um, and, and really made progress reading, it, it was uh, kind of revolutionary for us. You know, Kristen Pitts is the, her passion to help students with dyslexia started in her first year of teaching. One of her students was repeating the first grade. I felt like he was this really smart kid. He understood jokes that his classmates didn't get. He had like this brilliant sense of humor and yet he couldn't read. And Finding out her two daughters also have dyslexia inspired her to open the school to help even more students turn a new page in their lives. All kids want to learn how to read books that are interesting to them, but kids with dyslexia have a little bit more of a challenge because they need to find these interesting books that are also decodable. This book in my hand is an example of one that makes it easier and provides that support. So with these books, we are actually teaching them to rely on the decoding strategies that they've been taught. So if they've learned closed syllables, for example, they know that the A with that consonant after it, it's going to say the A ah sound, and it's consistent and reliable. These books come at a hefty price, along with other school costs, putting the tuition at $12,000 per student. Hot is trying to offset the cost by launching her nonprofit, Brazos Valley Dyslexia League, and asking donors to sponsor a student. In College Station, Rachel Espiot, KRHD News. So what else is being done to help dyslexic students in Texas? According to the TEA, House Bill 1264, which was passed before the 2013-2014 school year, requires schools to report the number of dyslexic students in the school district. This is done through the Public Education Information Management System. Starting in the 2019-2020 school year, schools were allowed, allotted extra funds to help students with dyslexia.